Welcome back, fellow lords, knights, and knaves, to Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. This is Connor, obviously, and um, I'm a bit further in my campaign. This is the second video I've uploaded in the Mountain Blade series, I suppose I could call it, even though this might be the last. I don't know. But as you can tell from my sigil, I am now actually a part of the Vlandian Kingdom. Deathert, my main boy, king of the Vlandians, he just couldn't have enough. He just loved me that much that when it came to you know actually uh having me as a part of his nation he just whinged and whinged and he he was kind of like a you know a disgruntled axe partner i mean here he is here he looks like a friendly fellow doesn't he harmless but truth be told he's a bit mental um as you can see he's very cautious which you know i drive that into him i am telling him that everybody else in his kingdom is out for his throne and his crown and of course um, he's, he's not that bad of a person he's very calculating and he would do well in Game of Thrones cautious as well which would be good in Game of Thrones but um yeah uh, I have Garen to her castle and you know I might be Dathert's favourite I, I don't know but uh, he just keeps giving me uh, fiefdoms so I've got um, Garen to her down here we are at war with the Western Empire again we did uh, set a peace treaty with them, but as soon as that expired, he was like, okay, back to the party, boys. Back to war. But in between the peace treaty, Dathert was like, you know what? I have some warmongering to do. And I'm not comfortable not being able to fight the Western Empire. So let's um, let's wage war on... Uh, who are these guys called again? Oh, the Batanians, yes. Let's wage war on the Batanians because they seem like a pretty harmless folk. Hephius ruled them. We ruled all the way around here. All the way down here. I mean, look where I have a castle. I have Remtoil Castle. This is another fief to me. I, I have in my uh, possession. I'm also way up north in a pretty dangerous position with uh, Nevansk Castle. And it is currently governed by... I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to have a look. But look. Fernhard. He has been steamrolling through Western Roman... Well, it's not Roman, is it? Western Empire territory. He is now attacking Legata, which is a town or a city. Oh, there's actually a a circus there. Cool. Um, but I'm of the inclination to go and assist him in the siege. Whether I make it there in time or not, I suppose we'll find out. Currently, I have 100 hardy troops under my command. As you can see, I've got the best of the best. It's a really, really messy troop uh, loadout because, well, I'm just trying to see who's good and who isn't. So far, I love the Vlandian Bonner Knights. They're very effective. The Vlandian Sharpshooters, you can tell by just the fact that I'm having 24 of them. They're lethal. They're like, it's as if they had like barred 50 cal sniper rifles. They are so accurate at distances, they shouldn't be accurate at. It's like they're longbowmen, but they're not. They're obviously sharpshooters. Blondian Spearman here. I'm going to upgrade him to a Swordsman. Because then I think I can upgrade Swordsman to Spearman. I think. Huh. But, um, yeah, I'm just living my best life, as you can take, as you can see. I've got a fella in my party here. He is the leader of my infantry force. His name is Atalon the Boar. And he doesn't like whenever I run away. He really doesn't like when I retreat from a battle. He just, he, he isn't having it, to be honest. So we're going to head on over to Fernhard here. And see if we can reach him by... The four battles end. Now, I have to stress. Hmm, double clicking is a little bit awkward. Legata is taken. Okay, so he just took that. Right, okay. So, there was one thing I wanted to try and do in this. Now, I got some tips from the previous video. Thank you guys for commenting, by the way, on how to get a spouse. I have a lady that I'm currently courting, but one thing that I have a problem with in this game is trying to find certain characters uh because i'm just having a, a difficult time of it to be honest like if i go to i mean they're reading that village do i want to help them help i'm working's party let's help them you never know there might be an empire force in the way here to relieve the villagers i don't think so most of the time whenever i read villages nobody's there to give a hand at all no couple of caravans oh what's this Go for the new owner, owner of Legata. Oh, well, I haven't got a town yet. Look at that. I'm everyone's favourite still. Yes, I get a town or a city. Look at that. 
I have to say though, I have been cutting a bloody swath through the entirety of this this continent. And clearly these guys notice if I'm not on their side, well, I'm gonna be on the opposite side, aren't they? So it is best that they just give me whatever the frick I want. Uh yeah, I'm not really gonna have to give too much of my influence over, so there we go. There we go. Deathert of the Landians grants Lagata to Ostrek with his council evenly split. I mean, Deathert and I are going to get married at some point. I mean, this guy is just in love with me. And if it gives me uh, more influence and power, by all means, I'll take it. Let's head on over to our new city. <laughs> st oh! Wait, what? I have a castle over here too? And it looks like they're going to relieve the defenders. Oh, it's a hard track around here. Look at this. I have another castle? What is going on? Dude, I haven't got enough governors for this. I need to I need to have more babies. I need to get a wife. If I'm honest, I've completely forgotten about how to go about doing that. Whew. Come on, it's the town. We have workshops and stuff. Governors, I have nobody to assign as a governor. I could put Atalon there, but... Yeah, we'll just put him down. Yeah, yeah, screw it. I have nobody else in the meantime. I'm going to have to see if I can get some more worthy agents under my command. And we'll put a reserve down of like, yeah, 10k will be, will be fine. We're up here at 83k. And now that we've got so many different fiefdoms, we are making a steady amount of cash. Now, the loyalty here is very low, mainly because it was just taken. And... Obviously, the culture isn't that of the Vlandians. It is Western Empire. So, hmm. Yeah, we've already got the festival and games going on. So this is the way it works. You've got projects up here which you can invest your time into. Um, and these are like building new things that give you like a variety of benefits. So, for instance, the fortifications. Better fortifications and higher walls around town. Also increases the max garrison limit since it provides more space for the resident troops. So, yes. This will allow me to get more troops for the uh, garrison, as it says. But with each level in fortifications, your walls become higher and, you know, stronger. A better stone, you can get, um, like, catapult emplacements and stuff. But to get cat catapult emplacements, you do need workshops. Oh, no, it's siege workshops. Yeah, siege workshops, which I've already got a number two on, which is good. That's very good. So, I'm very... Hmm... Prosperity. Let's get a form going, actually. Oh, it was already being built. Okay, no worries. We'll just let them do what they're doing then. Let's see if we can do a bit of trade. What have I got? Okay, nothing that I want to trade. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to the keep. Oh, is the arena going? No. Okay, let's go to the keep. The garrison. Here we are with the garrison. A lot of Landian forces. Now, I do need to refill my own troops. So what I usually do is just go here to any of my garrisons and steal a few troops. So we'll take, um, hmm, we'll take the, we'll just take sharpshooters to be honest. They're the most worthwhile in, in my opinion. And center, right. So Varmund and Fernhard's army seem to be meeting up, so let's head on over to them, see if we can't have ourselves a bit of a battle. We have joined up with Vernhard's army, we are now at 1024 strong. A very sizable force. Right, where are we heading to? Travelling to Ortisia to besiege, where is Ortisia? Oh, 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 oh! Prime targets, prime! Okay, now this is a really cool thing as well I want to point out. Wait, what? You jammy dogs. Oh, okay, there's a slot up here free. So whenever you join an army, all of your forces are pulled together. And whenever the battle commences, you're given the choice of command over like cavalry, infantry or archers. Uh, and you do get a sizable amount. So if I pick this here, I get 205 archers. That's a lot of men. That's... that's Double the size of my current army. Um, it's laughable here though. Somebody's going to want to get command of three. So let's ready up. I 
And what we're going to do is give our guys the command to go into a shield formation or shield wall. Um, and let's see, give them the engage command. That just means that they will advance and begin skirmishing with the enemy. I have changed my loadout a little bit since the last video. I'm now using this two-handed axe because I am etchard. Right. Oh no. Lads, assist me! Got myself into a really dangerous situation. Get to the horse, get to the horse! Our forces, forces advance. Our men are moving in the position here too. Oh, okay, that list is still up. All the blisters are still up. That's really not good for us. Siege Tower's health is okay. Come on, boys. Here we go. Now the tide will turn. Okay, they're all pulling back, bro. What? What's going on? They do this during sieges, my troops. They just pull back when I give them the engage order. I'm not sure if they're moving to cover or not. I mean, they are turning around to fire. I mean, maybe it's just them getting to a safe distance. I don't know. I mean, they are getting kills. I mean, look at them. Legends. And the siege tower has almost beset the wall. <laughs> this battle is ours. Get that battering ramp through that gate! Oh, the ladder's down. The gates are down, though. The gates are down. Well, hold on, no. Wait, let me get a wee, wee peek there. Eh, gate is down. Hold the line. Every man that makes it inside those walls gets an extra serving of me tonight. Not me, sorry. Not serving of me. It's even a mead. Mead with a D. An A D. Lodge, your lord and saviour is here. Push these peasants back. Come, boys. What shield? Huh? What shield? What shield? Okay. I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> oh yes, as you can see the, the dismemberment mod is working well. <laughs> oh that was close. 
Not really sure what I was thinking there. Attack! The enemy have been driven back, but we have lost a large component of our forces. The battle's finished, but this would be like what? A Pyrrhic victory? Hmm. I lost 11 of my men in this battle. Volarek has died on the battlefield. Who? A worthwhile endeavour. Fernhard has ordered that Artisia be led waste. His troops sweep through the city, taking whatever loot they like and setting fire to the rest. Wow. Okay. Brutal. Okay, so we have taken Artisia. And to be honest, I'm not really sure it was worth it. We lost quite a lot of men there. 200 men we lost. And there is a force raiding one of our villages. Athelgar, what are you doing, mate? You knew that there were like a thousand strong, at least, force at Artisha, and you show up at the first village, like on the road there? Come on, bro. I mean, look at this. Blatantly overkill, right? Like, absolutely blatantly overkill. Looks like we're taking command of the archers again. Which isn't ideal, but... Giving our archers the attack command? We can do this, folks. Come on. Forward, men! Forward, this victory is already at hand. They are but a measly scouting force. A raiding force. I mean, look at the size of the balance of power bar. What the hell? We drove them into the ocean almost. Look at that. Man, the battlefields in this game are beautiful. I remember it used to be like this in the early Total War titles, like in Medieval and Rome. Um, Medieval 2, where the battlefields were never like exactly the same unless it was a siege. Good times. Victory is ours? I would have never have guessed. Zero men lost, that's what I like to see. I give up. I give up. Call up back your dogs. Get out of here. Get into my prison cell, bitch. The courier arrived from the way they off. For peace? We're at peace with them now? No. Maybe it's just a little a little incentive. I mean, Artisha, it makes sense for me to get it because I've got a castle, a stronghold very close by. So I'm going to take it. I don't care what any of you fools say. And you know what? Very soon I think I'm going to make my claim for independence very clear to all to see and hear. Oh my lord. I just want to see how the renovations are coming along because I'm building uh, stronger walls. As you can see, it's going to take another 118 days. What? Madness. It's very odd. None of my guys can be upgraded. Oh, there we go. One billman. Hmm. My influence grows. And so does my power. We have Artisha now. Garantor Castle. Hertogia Castle. Legata. Remtoil Castle. And Nivansk Castle. I think we're doing pretty well. And clearly, as you can see, Blandia is growing strong. It would do when it has a such a capable king, such as Dethert, in command. Me being his right hand man, it's understandable how things are going so well. But anyway, I hope you're all enjoying whatever it is you're playing, whether it be this or something else. Thank you very much for watching, and I of course like always, we'll see you next time. Bye bye folks.